guys, welcome back to CBO Wellness. Today's video is going to be on misattribution of arousal and what that means, what the term means, and hopefully help you understand if it might be affecting you right now, ways to kind of combat that and, and work through it. So yeah, I hope you guys find this video helpful. Basically, misattribution of arousal is kind of common in toxic relationships and abusive relationships or when someone's trying to manipulate us. Misattribution of arousal is when we learn to confuse adrenaline of fear with sexual attraction. So super common in abusive relationships and I want to, I'm going to leave a, a phone number um, and some help down below. If you are in an abusive relationship or someone you know is in an abusive relationship, please, please, please get the help that you need. Um, there's so many wonderful supports out there, so I'm gonna link that down below. Please, please, please get help. I just want to share this idea and this concept um, just because sometimes we're so stuck in something we don't know until we can actually name it and label it. Um, and so understanding and labeling these feelings can help us bring understanding and become aware of what's going on. So basically, it's common in abusive or toxic relationships where if your partner is you know, emotionally, physically, verbally abusing you um, and then telling you that they love you right afterwards, our brain starts to misconfuse love for fear, right? And so those feelings of, you know, getting a fast heart rate or like, you know, vision being blurred or like getting really anxious or your butterflies in your stomach at times, like that could be confused for sexual attraction and love and like what it feels like to have hot steamy sex but really it's misattribution of arousal uh, and it's indicating that you're not in a healthy relationship so often what we want to look for in our healthy relationships is someone who we feel comfortable with who we feel safe with who we feel at ease with and relaxed obviously there's times in our lives for really exciting fast-paced sex but at the end of the day, you should always, always, always feel trust and security and safety in your partner and not have any anxious or high adrenaline emotions that come from fear, right? Because our partner has abused us in the past. Even just not even physical, emotional abuse, right? Or verbal abuse, like saying something mean and then acting really lovingly towards us is a way of, you know, manipulating people. And it's what causes these confusions. So really sit down with yourself, um, especially if you've been in toxic or abusive relationships in the past, understanding, um, for your future relationships that even if you're not feeling those emotions you might not think you have a strong sexual arousal or desire to your current partner but you really could and focusing more on the feelings of safety and being reliable and that you can trust that person um, is what you want to bring attention to so i'm not a psychologist or a medical expert um, i highly 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 recommend that you reach out to someone if you feel like you are um, a victim of this or you are experiencing misattribution of arousal um, and get the help that you need because it's important that we train our brains and our minds to know and recognize real safe love um, and not get caught up in um, abusive or toxic relationship patterns that aren't healthy for us. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, please give a big thumbs up if you like to and subscribe because that really helps this channel. Uh, give us a follow at CBO Wellness on Instagram. We talk about sex, relationships, all sorts of things on there. It's always expanding and growing. So we love to have new members to chat with and to share with um, and learn from. So give us a follow there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please give a big thumbs up if you like to and subscribe because that really helps this channel. And I'll see you for another video shortly.